All right. We're here right now with my AWS. I'm launching my first instances and I'm going to install my first server. I made it Jenkins server. Okay. Uh, it's up to you guys. You, you name your server. I'm going to use my Ubuntu uh, for AMI and then of course uh, Keeper Micro. You keep air select your firewall or security group. We're going to use my default, so you can use yours. And then BGB uh, will be enough. And there you go. So I launched my instances. First is for G Jenkins, and I will spin another instances from my web app. So we're going to install here our Docker. And by the way, in our uh, Jenkins, we will we will get back to that Jenkins server. We're going to install our Jenkins uh, Docker there. So right now, we're going to install our or spin our uh, second instances for web app. So mm -hmm. same procedure. We're going to use security group and then we launch the instances. Okay. And if you notice that I have a uh, open uh, terminal, we're going to access each of server here. Our first are Jenkins, and then our web app. For the Jenkins, we're going to okay. So it's still uh, pending. Let's wait for a couple of minutes for the instance is running, and there you go. Okay, so if, if you still uh, remember, you created a key pair in my in our previous uh, ch uh, channel. I uh, you mean uh, late, uh, previous video. So we're going to do that again uh, by using accessing our, accessing our server by HSS. So you need to point out to point your key pair when you're going to do this. Okay, so. I'm going to go uh going to go to my web ops where my key pair uh, it's, uh was uh okay so here I I I I store all my key pair here for Ohio region okay so I'm still accessing okay but I said yes okay uh okay so sorry for that uh, did you uh, you see my uh, terminal here okay so right now uh, what we're going to do right now is I have my uh, repo here, so you can check it to my uh, YouTube for the reference for installing the Jenkins. So of course, uh, if you're going to install a Jenkins, you need to update first, and then you need to install uh, first repos uh, repository of OpenJDK because this is the prerequisite of Jenkins. Jenkins actually is made uh, by uh, Java, so that's why it's very uh, important for us to install this Open JDK on our uh, server. Okay, since so it's already done, I'm going to install it again for my JDK. Open JDK. All right, so it's done. Then we're going to check again the Java version. I'll tap it. Okay, so we have our versions of 11. And we're going to install our Jenkins. Okay, we're going to copy this. Paste. 
and then we're going to update again okay update and then we're going to install okay our Jenkins <clears throat> Okay. Uh, say yes. So let's wait for a couple of seconds to the installation is done. Okay, and after that, so creating a sim link. Okay, it takes a while to get done okay so we're done and yeah so what we're going to do right now we're going to our aws and then copy the public uh, ip address and we're going to access our administrator of jenkins so for 8080 so we need to be sure in our uh, security group is open the 8080 or else we're not going to access this okay so we're going to copy this for us to access this administration our administration password. We'll go back again to our terminal and then uh I'll type it cut. Okay. But it seems uh permission denied. You need to uh put first the sudo for us to access this, okay? so there you go this is the initial password and then we're going to paste it okay and enter and click the install uh, suggested plugin okay and then we're going to wait for a couple of minutes to get it done okay So I get rid for a while the terminal for us we can see the whole process of installations of our Jenkins. Okay, so we're going to uh, again to add our username, our password, and confirmation of password and full name. Okay, and then we're going to save and continue. Okay. and save okay. and save and finish and we are done with our Jenkins okay we're ready so here is the here is the dashboard of the Jenkins and of course congratulations if it's your first time on installations of Jenkins so congratulations okay so we're done with our Jenkins right now we're going to install our docker for our uh, web app okay you can also uh yeah we forget that uh, we forgot that we can also install our jenkins docker because there's also a role here for jenkins to have our docker okay uh we're going to create here our images uh, uh basically in our jenkins and then we're going to push it and then we're going to put it to our web app uh, server okay so this is uh and then you can also check again my repository on our github for installation of docker okay so same procedure again we need to update every time you get uh connect with uh you 
you connect with, uh, you encounter with the servers of the Linux, you always update this if this is the first time. Okay, so here's I'm going to uh, to to so this is the typical uh, the Docker documentation. So you can also check this one if you don't need uh, if you don't want to uh, follow my my river story uh you can also use that docker uh, documentation for installations okay. okay where are we now so we're going to install this okay this securing and the docker gpt uh gpg okay Paste it, okay. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to change mode for all. Leave it only for the Docker GPT. And then we're going to set up the repository. So copy this one. Okay. And then we're going to update again. Okay, so uh, we'll wait again for not okay. Basically, it's already done already. That's fast. Okay, so this is optional, guys. But uh, perhaps in my uh, encounter in these installations, it's very required for me to to add our user mo uh, our Docker our user to the Docker. Okay, we're going to use this optional. Mm -hmm. Or else I, I we're going to encounter an error. Okay, but first uh, we're going to install again. I installed the Docker. Let's see, okay, we're done uh, again. Uh, after that, we're going to use this optional. Okay, we're going to add our user to the Docker group. Okay, so. Guys, if, if if you can also check my uh previous uh previous video tutorial about uh user mode of Linux crash course, uh, you can also check this one. I uh, check this, this video, and I'm going to I'm going to uh create a password for my Ubuntu because uh, by default Ubuntu don't have a password, so I'm going to change though they have a password but we don't know what is the password is so i'm going to rename uh to uh create another new password okay and we're going to switch again to the user of password and access my password okay so we're good so, uh, we're only uh done for our jenkins installed for the docker that's it the docker okay so we're good Right. Again, uh, what's next? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we're going again to my Jenkins. Okay. What's the next? I'm going to check my cheat sheet. My cheat sheets. Okay. We're going to install the manage Jenkins. We have uh going to install uh, certain plugins we're going to need uh to use it this is as agent so you can type as is edge and then search for what's it uh, what's it there you go as is agent this agent okay and we're going to install okay where's the install oh, okay there you go uh, okay, after the successfully install, I'm going to check. Okay, check and restart. First, I'm going to restart my Jenkins. Okay, okay, this way it was Jenkins restarting. Uh, maybe I'm going to reboot, uh, to refresh again. Okay, still okay. So we're here again, we're finished, and we're going 
to access again because it's uh, reset is already done and we're going to access okay in my uh, administrator okay here again with my Jenkins admin what we're going okay I'm going to remove my terminal first so that we can see clearly okay we can man uh, click manage and then we're going to install again or check again did we install rss let's check again research agent okay where is that oh okay there you go did we install the jenkins okay and since they didn't install okay we're going to install again okay they successfully installed okay why is that's not working okay we're going to restart again to jenkins okay uh with my terminal so again i'm going to exit uh, what i'm uh trying to do here is to change the host name so as you can see i already have a jenkins and i also create also uh, change my web app to my server on my hosting so basically uh in order for us to reflect what we do to change the host name we need to uh, exit again and then sign in again okay so we're done so that we can indicate which uh, server we access to avoid confusions with our server okay so we're here again since our jenkins uh, modules or plugins is installed i'm going to uh, access my username and password here and okay. going to enter okay. all right so since we already have a jenkins let's check again did we already uh, install the Jenkins because we already two times uh, installed the Jenkins I mean this HS uh, uh, agent where is that it's, it's hard to find that Jenkins oh, okay we are in available we're supposed to, need to click the install plugin Ch check again just s okay so it's already enabled okay let's go back here to the dashboard and then going to create our new item here is the jenkins uh pipeline uh, we'll start okay we're going to name my first pipeline then click the pipeline and then okay and here below in the pipeline script we're going to create our first stages okay first we're going to type no in the stage we'll name it the first stage uh, git we're going to name our stage oh my guys uh okay i have a cheat sheet here so I type it to git a uh, git branch so if you don't know how to use it so you can check the syntax of pipeline so we're going to choose uh the git here for our sample step and then we access again or we access again our docker J uh, jenkins project so i already uh prepared it for you guys to pull it up, uh pull it up down the, the docker file so this is the so we're going to change this to main because my branch is main not master okay 
and if you're going to generate a pipeline script and we're going to copy it and this is where we're going to paste here so this is what uh this git branch all about okay so this is the first stage we're going to pull our repository docker file then we're going to build our first uh, pipeline which is we're going to create our Jenkins checkout okay so uh, it seems there's no uh, error uh, let's check our workspace so it seems he already created so if you do, if you, if you do check this, uh, this this folder you can check again to our to our terminal so let's connect and then it's it's only for for us to 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 look that uh, it's already created or pull the repository from our github so let's access it okay first way terminal i have a terminal okay i access the terminal okay okay copy paste it in And if you check it for the, the if you see the it for where the workspace this bar bar leave uh Jenkins workspace my first pipeline so if you go to check it okay and then okay there you go okay did you see that okay sorry sorry that uh I didn't uh check again that my terminal uh was seeing the screen so let me check again cd uh no uh, nl this so there if you check it there you go so this the, this is the docker file that we pulled from our repository if you're going to check it to our repo it's still the same okay it seems uh it's already checked we've already done that first uh, stages Okay, and let's go back here again to our Jenkins I've, uh, admin. Okay, we go again to our node and I'm going to type our second stage. Okay, so maybe for, for us to make it easier, so I'm going to paste what I have in my documentation. So you can also check that, guys. So this is the Jenkins. I'll, I'll show you guys the Jenkins variables that we saw in our stages. This is the variables that seems important for us here to know. Okay. So this is the build uh, variable, environment variable. I'm going to check it. Okay. So I'm going to apply and save. And I'm going to build. <clears throat> so there's no error from my end so I don't know you guys if you already created so let's check again with my terminal I'm sorry you guys uh, for the terminal uh, it seems that there's a problem with it with my displaying with my terminal so here again with my terminal i access it so we do have a, a images uh, created and since there's no error so we built our images and then if you're going to configure it 
Let me configure again. We need to create again another stages. So name it Docker. Okay, maybe I need to check again my my copy. Okay, so I'm going to name it push uh, pushing images in Docker Hub. Yes, where's my where's my copy? Okay, so I'll leave it. It says Docker Docker. Okay, uh, log in. Let's be going to log in to my Docker Hub or to your Docker Hub. So user. So dash users and then dollar say parameter. Oh uh, no, I name it in the value. And put a password. So we're, here we're going to create some some certain secret for this one. We not allow it to to expose our our password here. So we're going to create something here. So we're going to use again our syntax pipeline. Okay. Oh no. Uh this pipeline and then we're going to check the sample step and then create the choose the create uh, with credential and then with secret text this one guys the binding and then i'll name it or you name it wherever you want docker password and then here for the credential I'm going to click this jenkins and the password Okay, a username, I, I mean, the password, and the ID. So I'm going to uh, save what we create. And then we're going to check again for Jenkins. Very correct. Okay, let me check. Okay. Uh, let's generate. Okay. So, but it seems that there's a problem. There's no credential is ID here. So, I'm just wondering why there's no. So, I'm going to create again. So, password. Okay. ID. Absolutely generated okay where did i okay so we're going to create again secret text okay did i mess up okay hmm so if we're going to paste here But I'm wondering, there's no user creden uh, credential ID here. If we're going to use this, maybe it's, it will not work. Okay. I'm going to copy this, cut it, and paste it here. Still there's a problem here so let's go back let's go back here to the pipeline let's create the hit uh, let's create it again 
there's there's stuff we can shut out here. Okay. Let's check again. You are decaying, yes. Okay, okay, so I get it. So let's go back here for the sample step for snippet generator. Mm. Look at those here, guys. Hmm. Sometimes if you are missing something with your with your with your steps, so you forget already what you created. Okay, let's go again with credential, uh, credential, uh, barring credential. So with credential, uh. We're going to add again the secret text and I'll name it name it. Uh supposed to be it's not uh complete what we created before, so pass WD okay, not a pass WD. And then let's create our here you go and then secret text and then this is a secret okay the password of, of our uh, docker hub okay uh paste it uh what we created the uh, name of our secret text okay and i'll name it again docker password again okay if we generate it generate okay there you go so this is what i mean there's supposed to be a credential as a password okay. so we need to remove this again okay let's go ahead and do that okay maybe i'll paste here and i'll copy i remove just this comment and then copy the shell script shell command i mean okay cut it and then paste here and we're going to remove this one okay so we're good to go we're good to go okay so seems that we are lost moment ago with my uh, hardly uh, figure out where where we did we there where did we loss okay so we are here right now with the stages it seems we're going to paste this uh here in our password so we're already complete our login user as uh, users and the password for our Docker. Okay. Okay, so it's your first time for making the script, so maybe you're going to be, compu uh, be confused with this one. Okay. 
Okay, so the next uh, shell command, we're going to name it commit docker push uh, images push. Uh, is this the correct uh, syntax? Docker image push angular boleo and then our name of our tag. Okay. What's our name of their tag? Okay, so now uh, we're going to uh, name the variable of the job name and then the colon and then the version one okay dot uh, dollar build I'll type it build e id and the next is So what's the next so Docker Docker image push MWA job name? Okay, I'm going to okay, uh, copy this below and I'm going to change it. Or we're going to remove it and let it read this. Okay, so we have the version. And we have the build number, okay. And we're going to push also our latest. But we have we have the two images here that we're going to push on our Docker Hub. Okay. After we're going to push that, so later we're going to do what we're going to do is to pull it to our uh, web app server. Okay. So. This is the basic of our, our uh, task for as a being a DevOps. So you need to know what's the syntax of Docker. Okay. Whenever you access to the Docker Hub, you need to access the log in user password. And then the next is you're going to create your images and then you're going to or build your images and then we're going to push it and then we're going to create of course your tag this one like i'm doing here i will create a tag here for the later build uh build versions and the latest so right now we're going to let's move on to our, our next uh, shell script so drop our images we're going to remove after we're going to push it we're going to remove to our server okay so we're going to copy this one the copy id a uh, job name with the version id okay angle boleo and uh, forward slash forward slash right And then the job ID, okay. I paste and I cut, cut and paste it. The job name and the version and the version ID. We're going to get that on our environment. Okay. Uh,
pick up or copy it this uh, tag paste again and what we're going to do we're going to remove both the build id that we created and the labels okay in one command okay this is will we, uh this will be work uh, by removing so it is a better way to remove this one guys what do you think so in one word repeatedly We can delete one uh one images uh two images in one command of the card images removed. Okay, so we're going to apply and we're going to save it. So let's try the this uh stages. We have a script there, it's work. We're going to build again so click this build let's check the move history so it triggered and pushing images to the Jabber hub so let's check if it's successfully uh pushing the images let's go to the console and check again oh so we are successful uh, tagging our images let's check again it's uh, my press pipeline we don't have an error okay because it's successful okay what we're going to do right now is since uh, we're already successful pushing our images We're going to check the repository so let's refresh before we don't have this uh, images so last push is one minute ago so we already created it okay so if we can check it here we already have our latest and the version that we have in our images okay so we're successful right now we're not uh, done yet with uh, with our CILCD uh, pipeline. Uh, the next one we're going to do is since we're already uh, building, pushing uh, with the help of our Jenkins, and we're going to Okay, so let's go back here to our Jenkins. Okay, let's uh, configure again and let's create again another stages. Okay, uh, the next is we're going to. interact with our second server okay by let's create it let's add other stages docker container deploy so we are deploying it right now
Okay, so we're going to uh, copy the key pair for us to access the other server there. So we're going to create a snippet here for us to access the user and password and of course we're going to attach the hs key so basically this is key uh, we paste here is the uh, default by the aws Okay, so we're going to uh, name it web server uh, web server and the name of my server for the web app is uh, the username that we use is Ubuntu okay Ubuntu the default of our users uh, there when we uh, deploy our for our server and then the phrase that we saw you there in the in the editor, let me check again. This is not what I mean. Uh, this one. So let's copy again this wire a uh, wire key pair for yours. Uh, you can check that guys copy that and then you paste it here okay in the private key paste here and then so if you do have a par uh, passphrase you could put that but it seems uh, it's a public uh, it's, i don't have a passphrase so i I'll check it okay They will generate the pipeline and I'll save this script and I will put it here. So I remove this. So I'll type uh, HS and then O strict type O's O's key config I know check strict host key checking And then let me check again. No, and then the users, and then what the IP address. So I'll check with the the private IP address of my web uh, web app server. Okay.
So let me check here. So IP on address. Just the IP address. <clears throat> and then paste it. What we're going to do here again, the next is So I'll put the docker, because we're going to use the docker command here to run, and then uh, interactive, the name of my docker uh, container. I'll name it container name, and then port that I'm going to expose and then 80 okay so be sure uh, to check also in your AWS firewall if it is open okay I'm going to copy this uh, from Docker Hub Paste it here. Okay, uh, let me check because the syntax here seems we got an error here. Yeah, he's pointing here that we have we do have an error here. Uh, let me check what's the error here. Extra uh, trying to. Check the syntax create. So let me check my my copy. This one if you create it correct. Okay, maybe I'll put it here. Okay, so it's get, get, get normal again. So, so it's is the, the color. If we don't have a syntax error for our, our code or script, I mean. all right so we're going to apply and it seems it's zero error we're going to build again if there's no error build okay build 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 now okay so hope there's no error 
cross our fingers so let's check the console output and then okay so we're successful okay we did already successful deploy right now so it seems that we're we're good guys but one thing here we 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 need to do something here again after this after we're going to to deploy it to our web app let me check again for my ask uh, my cheat sheet we we do well here check sorry guys so seems that uh, i'm still confused with uh, with my writing here with my step by step to uh, to do this this pipeline uh, tutorial okay So maybe I will need to post for you uh, a while, guys. Okay, so let's check again for AWS if it's work. I'm going to create, uh, get the public address with our web app. Copy the web app and then paste what port that we exposed there for our uh, AT okay so since there's some error here that's why I told you uh, this is the pain we rest up here but it's good guys that we do have an error here so that we can also learn how to troubleshoot what we created here so let's check uh, again for our security guys for our SG for a security group so it's supposed to be the protocol is open here okay we do open all the port here but why it still got an error or we don't have a response one let's edit it okay uh, okay let's try Okay, where's that? It's supposed to be it, it will work. All traffic here. So all protocol is open. Supposedly it's working. But it's not uh, displaying our 9000 port. We're going to do this. Since there's not, there's an error. Okay, uh hmm. Troubleshoot, troubleshoot. So let me think again. Okay, still error. Okay. Suppose I, I, I think there's no error here for our security group. Let's check my server. Did we create? Uh, did we copy the exact IP address from here? Let's check again our script. Our script maybe. IP address of our server. Why it's not working? Okay, it's going to delete it. Okay, so let's go back to easy two. Okay. Let's check again. Easy to okay. Web up. Hmm. Public address, private, private address. So, so we're copying this IP address. I think we we'll have an error here. Uh, I know already what's the error. So let's go back to the configure and to the step that we created here. We, we do put here an IP address, right? But we get the IP address of the Jenkins. That's why we don't have it. So you see it's 48 28 48 for our web app not that uh, the previous that we saved 
earlier. That's why it's it's not working. So let's build again. Let's do again our pipeline and cross finger that there's no error on the script. Okay. Right now for the last uh, process. Okay. Last process, come on, come on. Okay, so successfully. Okay, we successfully uh, deploy it. And that's it. This is the status of the log. Uh, let's go back here and copy the public address of the web app. And okay, there you go. So there's the static IP address we we did uh, deploy our Jenkins images here to our uh, web app with our images and yeah it seems it's work for uh, pipeline CDI and pipeline so what else guys the, we need to do plugin here since we do Deploy our 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 next 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 engine X uh web web server web app or web static is already created and I think we still have to do here. Let me check again my. My copy here for my 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 lesson. <clears throat> so perhaps we are already uh, done here okay Okay, so let's configure again. So I think we do have to uh, fix something here because if you're going to run it and then you're going to deploy it again and again. So if we, we do have uh, uh, changes in our CD pipeline, so of course we don't want to file every uh, versions that we have here. So we need to push the, the images and then we get we did we will create, uh, delete what we created before in our in our uh, images in our local. So that's what we're going to do. So that uh, the copy only to push uh, to push in the uh, on the Docker Hub is the latest. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to type again this script we have. And remove the images after we going to, to to run it images okay let me think let me think So I'll pay, um, I'll paste the other co uh, um, uh, shell script. Let me check first. So we type it correct. So, so the images, we're going to remove the images and then the container. 
that's supposed to be the container. Remove the container and then we're going to remove the image. Going to, okay, remove the images. Force it to remove. Okay, that's the uh, parameter that we're going to do. Okay, let me check again. Uh, I check no server check. So remove the container, remove the images. That's the logic. Okay. So let's go to apply and save. Okay. Let's build again. If the script is running well, uh, console output. Let me check. Oh, so we do have a uh, error here. So container name is already in use. Okay. So what we got to do here? You have to remove or rename that container be able to reuse that one. Hmm. Okay. Since this is the life of DevOps. So we need to troubleshoot what we have created here. So if we do have an error here, so there's a problem. If there's a problem, so definitely we have a solution in here. Okay. Uh Let's check again uh, the code. Use the code code dig x pipeline. Code is in use. Okay. So could be the problem. Let's code dig. So I'm going to remove uh, to rename it. Okay. I think we have a better code here. I create I edit uh, search it. Okay. Let me search it here. The most important uh the the most efficient uh code that I search. So that it will only not remove or uh, remove the container images and not add no uh, collisions with with or creating a new images uh, container. Check the Google. Okay. Okay. Hope uh, this is work. Okay. Uh. There you go. So this is the command, uh, the script that I uh, rename it, uh, modify it. So it's much better. Uh, uh, the the script that we that we worked before. Okay. So this is it. So we're going to apply it and save. And we're going to build again. Hope that the code that we search is uh, correct. We will not uh, encounter error here. So let's check again the console. Oh, okay. So we successfully uh, finished. So we did already uh, remove, not 
I'm gonna remove and rename it. Okay, and that's it. And I hope that this uh this uh, tutorials uh helpful to you guys and it's the CD and uh, C C I and C D uh, C D pipeline by using the Git and Docker Jenkins. Okay, so yeah. So again, uh, thank you for bear with me, guys. Uh, I know that the video is so long, so we take uh, time for troubleshoot it. Where's the error? So that's the life goes by. So we have to face it and the problem, and we need to resolve it. So until the next time, uh, I'll see you in the next video.